Good morning. It's about 524 now on our Wednesday morning. We just got the five o'clock advisory from the National Hurricane Center a little delayed. It seems like they're having some technical issues pushing this data package out to everybody, even including their website. But still, we've got it. Uh, wind speeds still at 130 miles per hour. If you're just waking up, Fiona is now a category four hurricane. It's moving north of the Turks and Caicos this morning, right on eight miles per hour. Look at this satellite presentation. Just a monster of a storm. Such a well-defined eye there with the strongest of the st strongest winds in the storm right in the eye wall surrounding the center of the eye there. The latest forecast track, no real big changes to pass along to you, though it does look like it steers clear of Bermuda, though the center of the storm will stay west of Bermuda. They'll still see some impacts as the storm races to the north up into the Canadian Maritimes over the weekend. Meanwhile, the rest of the Atlantic, a lot to look at here. We've got Tropical Storm Gaston, no concerns there. A couple of other tropical waves and then Invest 98L. More on that in just a second. I do want to show you the forecast track for Gaston. No concerns with that. It will stay over the northern waters of the Atlantic Ocean. It'll spin around, do a little loop-de-loo, and then weaken as it continues to track to the north. Meanwhile, just to the southeast of the southern Windward Islands, we have Invest 98L. Fairly disorganized showers and storms at this point, though the forecast is for it to track to the west-northwest into the Caribbean. That's where we expect it to really begin to organize, strengthen, likely becoming a tropical depression and then a tropical storm. Still a lot of uncertainty, guys, in where this storm is going to go, but a lot of the forecast models do bring it into the Gulf of Mexico through early next week. I've got two of our forecast models here, the European and the GFS model you can see as it tracks to the north and west, it strengthens rapidly in the northwestern Caribbean. This is something to watch really closely again through early next week. Ladies.